In this lesson, we will learn how to install an audio intercom system for two operators on four lanes. This lesson will build on the knowledge gained so far to install and configure a system, including a 1509 audio mini hub. Choose a location for the hub and feed Cat5 or Cat6 cable from the counter stations to the hub and from the hub out to the lanes. Use the EIA-568B color code to terminate both ends of each cable, and then be sure to test the cables with a network cable tester. Connect the counter station hub jacks to the counter station 1 and 2 jacks on the 1509 SD. Connect the lane stations to the lane station 1, 2, 3, and 4 jacks on the 1509 SD. Connect the green wire on the 1509 hub to a building ground. To customize the keypad, remove the clear cover and choose a lane position and key color for the active lanes. Use black keys for unused positions. Replace the cover. Be careful not to strip the screws. For long cable runs, you can compensate for signal loss by adjusting this dial. Most systems require zero compensation, but if the cable run from the lane station back to the hub is greater than 100 feet, turn the dial to 1. If it is over 200 feet, turn it to 2, and so on. Everything a customer needs to communicate through the intercom system may be connected to the 1520 lane station. A microphone, speaker, call button, traffic sensor, and discrete handset. Connect a wireless headset using the special adapter cable connected from the blue modular jack on the base to the 2.5 millimeter jack on the counter station. If operators have their own personal headsets, you can install a 1548 headset selector that connects up to four base stations. Connect power to all components of the system, including accessories like a wireless headset. Now test the system and make basic adjustments. Use a 1550A setup tool for advanced adjustments. That's it for lesson six. Next topic will build on skills from previous lessons to install and configure a 4 on 4 system with video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call 800 32 Audio or visit audioauthority.com.